time out. Do we know things? Sorry. Let's find out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's a good start. This week on what do we know about business? Do we know things? Let's find but out. We went to Mishak Masuku. Uh, what is Mishak? Uh, Mishak is a human. We kind of heard about this guy that um, made ceramics that lived just outside of Kenton. So we thought we'd go check it out. What we found was... Um... <laughs> was um, more than just the man of Nguni ceramics fame. Yeah, he talks a lot and he's charismatic and he's the son of a Swazi princess and the father of 15 grandchildren. Wait, father of how many children? 11 children. Many, many. many. We will fact check that later. <laughs> and many grandchildren. Yeah, we just kind of followed his journey from Swaziland. He came as a migrant labourer and he spoke to us about how he uses pottery as a form of political commentary and um, cultural celebration. I think if you believe you can say destiny, because I did not really know about ceramics. However, growing up, having your grandfather's head of cat, you play with clay and the riverbeds, and you fashion sculptures of animals. I loved the cow. Later in my life, when I started working, I started as a garden boy, and I was discovered there that I can make these animals by uh, Joe Farragher. The rest man is history, so. In the night, I used to teach myself the wheel. So the wheel part of it is a completely self-taught. Joe didn't know a thing that I was on the wheel for two sim solid years or until one day he fired one guy. And that night, I sat and I made one piece of all the products that this person was responsible for making. The next morning he came and I was standing by the door ready to be fired. He didn't say anything. And later that day he said, I must find someone who will make the animals and do the job that I'm doing and I can take over the wheel. And that was my gateway ticket. So we went to America and East London and... And yeah, she runs this um, Eastern Cape craft store. So she has like a lot of insight into what it's like to be a crafter in the Eastern Cape, which as it turns out is really hard. <laughs> yeah, she just confirmed um, how his determination and his just raw talent and uh, the clever way he's gone about his business have, mean, have, have meant that he's become a really established and successful potter. One of the most important things, especially in Mishak's case, is talent. I mean, he's talented. He's, he received training and, um, and he's talented. He's, he's also got a very unique style. He's very, um, his style is around doing the Nguni cows. Um, he also does work with the big five and a lot of the tourists and travelers, they like buying products with, with animals and the big five. So I think he's very clever with the type of product he's, he's actually producing. And his products are also very well priced and very accessible to the market. He, he's got something that works, a, a look and a feel and a style and um, something he knows about the market once and he's developed that and he's stuck to that which is quite nice you know so now when people walk in here or wherever his products they'll say oh i know this is a mishak you know so he's established like a, a look and a brand and a name for himself i use the cow because the cow is actually the most animal that is associated with most of our cultures and customs. In a space where there's no more land, there's no more cattle to graze, we live in townships, we don't have cattle anymore, and yet we have not left the culture and the custom. How then can I navigate that? So then I started then putting this in and, in, in, you know, including them on the work. When I pay the lobola, I'm still confident that it came from a, a cow, it's still a cow. And then the market had to be the ones that finally agrees. 
And as I'm talking to you today, the market is, is growing and it's growing very, very, very fast. I came for Grahamstown. Canton is a byproduct. Grahamstown is the core, is the main place and the main reason I'm here. Because Grahamstown has the, the, the raw material right there. about what is happening at Kazini. By 50th season, by the bar is being gassy, by the bar chop, 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 by the I'm going to go to Gale, because of the or something at the end. I'm going to look at the bands in Mutingis, but the Sasa Mutingis. But the bands in Yanaji, Kobanga Babas, or Tanga Babas or Martin. So in the closet of Mana about Martingis, in the cool. So, yeah. So, but the town of Nalapi looks in, but again, a pana, Sasa. Gramstown did not provide me with the facilities necessary for me to do what I'm doing. The company then that had seconded me there only had a once of funding and, and they were liquidated. They just stuffled and delayed the process until people lost interest and all that. And then now, I'm, for the last two years, I'm left alone. The training that I'm doing, I'm sponsoring, I'm funding it myself, you know. So everything, basically you can say everything I've ever earned, I've put it back again. To the, to, to, to the development of those people. The, the lives it can change, the amount of people that can get help, the jobs that can be created, the children that can, can really, it can change a lot of lives. And hence then I want to give my small contribution in that space and make sure that one or two people uh, leave to say they survived because they learned how to work with clay. So what did we learn about businesses? Did we learn stuff? We learned stuff. We yeah. learned many things. We learned that a business can be successful in ways that aren't just profit motivated mm -hmm. and are motivated by other things beyond the self. And I think that's really inspiring. Yeah, because he's helping people in Kenton as well as Gramstown, like mentoring and everything. And community-based philosophy is just great because mm. it's building not only you yourself and it goes with the values of Ubuntu and stuff like that. Yeah. And so that's what we learned about what do we know about business this week and do we know things? We know things now. Yes we do. <laughs>